In this video, I just want to take a quick look at how we can make quick copies by using sub sequences. Now, technically, I've already covered this in all of these sub sequences videos, but why not cover it again here? So what I need is three, three, five, oh, I need my Sony microphone. We're doing a little comparison here of a Sony Lav and a Audio Technica Lavalier microphone. And I've actually already made sub sequences, which you can see here, which I copied from uh, further on, you know, down here. And then I placed them down here and I edited them even further because I wanted them to be slightly different. So now I need that exact copy of, you know, what I've done over here and not what I've done here. So of course I could go ahead and load this sub sequence up here and try to edit it, you know, up here in our uh, source monitor, but why not? You know, we've already done the work. So why redo the work we've already done? We don't have to with Media Composer and with our sub sequences here. So let me get to the part that I need. So here we're still on the Audio Technica. And I believe you're hearing me through our Sony. So right here. So I want this whole area. Now I've already gone over how to make sub sequences. And uh, what we'll do is select the tracks that we want. Mark our in. So I just hit I there to mark the in. And then it goes out about here. Straight ahead again. All right, now we are here. And then it comes back to the Audio Technica because I'm going to do post production on that part. But that's really neither here nor there. So I'm going to lock to the end of the Sony part. Hit O. So you can see right here what we have selected, all of my tracks that I need. Okay, all this work that I have actually already done further on down here. I actually did all this work down here and just copied it using this sub sequence and then put it right here, edited it further to fit where I needed it to. Uh, and now I'm going to grab it again, this edited sub sequence and pop it in down here. So there are a lot of ways to copy things. I mean, I could, I could do like a drag copy, a copy and drag if I wanted to, but I'm going to use this sub sequence. So I have everything marked out exactly how I want it, want it, uh, my track selected. So I'll just go ahead and grab my sub sequence, pop it right here. Go ahead and let me give it a name here. This is uh Sony two. I know what that means. You may not, but I do now just grab it, throw it up here. Then we'll come down to where I need it. Let me actually remove those marks. I'm going to hold control, lock to the end of that. We already have that sub sequence here loaded up. These are the tracks I need. And I actually want this though. I want the audio to be on uh, nine and 10 there. So I need to patch this down here actually. That's what I need. So that looks correct to me. We'll go ahead and just overwrite that in. Pow pow, look at that. And there's my audio that I'm going to do post production on here using our AAX plugins that we use with Pro Tools, using right here in uh, Media Composer. But that has nothing to do with uh, the sub sequence. I can just, uh, you know, I don't have to redo the work up here, the actual video work or this audio work down here. I don't have to redo it. You know, I can just use that sub sequence that uh, I created over here or that sequence that I created over here, turn it into a sub sequence and pop that copy right back in here and I can edit it further, which is what I'm going to do now. But that is a really quick way. If you have things on your timeline that you need to uh, have showing up over and over again, don't redo the work, man. Don't redo the work. And as I've already shown in all of the other sub sequences videos, you know, I didn't have to select all of the tracks. I could have just selected one of the tracks. Maybe I just want the stuff on the top. I could have made a sub sequence of just the stuff on the top. You know, just grab it, throw it in my bin or throw it over here in the source monitor. I could do that as well, you know, and, uh, and then pop that in and I just have that track. So just keep in mind, use sub sequences whenever you have things that need to be redone over and over and over in your main sequence. And of course, you can use sub sequences for all kinds of, of uh, you know, different things, making sequences, making sub sequences, editing them further, using them as backups, all kind of stuff you can do with sub sequences. But that is a really quick way you can copy things that you've already done a lot of work on. No, no reason to redo the work, uh, especially if, you, if it needs to be exactly the same. No need to redo all that work. Just mark an in, mark an out select the tracks that you want and grab your sub sequence throw it in a bin or throw it up here in your source monitor and then choose whatever bin you want it in. All right, so that is making quick copies with sub sequences here in Avid Media Composer.